Today's topic is all about meiosis. Meiosis is another form of cell division. Meiosis only happens with reproductive cells, so sperm and eggs. Meiosis reduces the number of chromosomes in a cell. It goes from what is called a diploid to a haploid. As mentioned in previous videos, humans have 46 chromosomes in our body cells. They are diploid, but through meiosis, sperm and egg cells have 23 chromosomes, haploid. This is important so chromosome number doesn't double every generation, as well as allows for genetic variation and equal chromosomes being passed on from each parent. While we have 46 chromosomes, our cell here is going to have four, so it is easier to see. Meiosis has two phases, called meiosis one and meiosis two. Meiosis one starts with interphase one. Chromosomes replicate and condense. The original and the replica are joined with a centromere, just like during mitosis but now we start to vary from mitosis. Homologous chromosomes pair up and form what is called a tetrad. To break this down a bit, you got chromosomes from each of your parents. Similar ones and their copies are what is lining up. Homologous chromosomes are similar in size and carry genetic information for the same traits. Next is prophase one. Here, the nuclear envelope starts to disappear. Centrioles move and spindle fibers form. Also, during prophase one, crossing over often happens. This is when the chromatids in the tetrad swap sections of DNA. This happens to increase genetic variation so that you are not exactly like your siblings. In metaphase one, we see the tetrads line up along the middle of the cell. Then during anaphase one, the tetrads separate, dividing the homologous chromosomes. Next is telophase one, where the cell fully divides. Now we have two cells with two chromatids and their copies. In a human cell at this stage, we would have two cells with 23 chromatids and their copies. During cytokinesis or interkinesis, the cells are in a somewhat resting state. This is the end of meiosis one. There is not another interphase as the chromatids do not need to replicate again. Meiosis two starts then with prophase two, and the spindle fibers form and centrioles move to each end. Metaphase two, the sister chromatids line up at the middle of the cell. During anaphase two, the sister chromatids separate and each chromatid moves to opposite sides of the cell. Lastly, during telophase two, the cell divides. Remember, both cells from meiosis one are doing this. So now we have four new haploid cells containing one chromatid each from the original tetrad. In males, this creates four sperm cells, but in women, this process actually creates one egg and three of what are called polar bodies. Eggs are so big, they need cytoplasm and other organelles from the other cells to create one functioning egg. As the sperm and egg each have two chromosomes in our example, they are ready to combine to create our organism with four chromosomes. Or in our case as humans, the sperm and egg would each have 23 chromosomes to combine into a human that has 46.